It's ADM right now, the largest privately owned bus company in the U.S. is filing for bankruptcy. How the move could impact commutes in our area. Also, the Mayor Mac Ferry is back open after closing down Thursday night. What the Columbia County Sheriff's Office says caused the delay. And we have an alert day in the forecast for hot temperatures. I'll talk more in detail about that coming up. Good Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Kop Zersky. It is June 15th. Let's begin this hour by taking a look outside with Jacob Montesano for what the day ahead will be like. Good morning, Jacob. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm definitely going to enjoy the weather today because I'm not a huge fan of the heat and we're going to see plenty of it after today. Now, right now, temperatures are very comfortable 60s across the entire area, and we also are seeing cloudy skies. So although temperatures will be in the middle 70s, it'll feel roughly around 70, 75 degrees during the day. We are going to see some showers, though. This line of rain that has been moving into Wisconsin has really dissipated as it's crossed the border, but we are expected to see more consistent consistent showers later in the day. Now, likely won't enter the area till the afternoon, and it'll mostly be for you folks near and around La Crosse and places north of Dane County. Madison may not see any rain at all during the day, and places south of Madison will certainly be fairly dry. And as we get to the overnight hours, those of you up in Eau Claire will see the rain during the evening. But as we get past midnight, we're going to see more consistent and sometimes heavy rain move into Wisconsin. Now, there's a small severe weather risk, but this is mostly a heavy rain risk. And this is going to occur very early in the morning for Father's Day, especially just to the north of Dane County in the central portion of the state. And this also includes you folks in La Crosse. Now, the good news is that this line of showers and storms will clear out of our area very early on Father's Day. But that's not the only good news for Father's Day, because as I talked about at the top, we're going to see some pretty hot temperatures beginning tomorrow. I'll talk about just how hot they could get coming up a bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. Our top story this morning, bus riders here in Madison could soon notice a change in their commute with Coach USA filing for bankruptcy. Our Maddie Himes breaks down the company's plans and how they will affect riders in the Madison area. Right now in Madison, you can catch a Coach USA bus just about every hour. But how long will that continue? Coach USA operates more than 2,200 buses, including those with the Van Galder bus name. The company employs about 3,000 workers and transports millions of passengers. And if the bus was not available, I honestly don't know what I would do. I, I honestly don't. Um, probably have to find another bus, but I don't know. It's the most convenient one for me, so. Many of them being UW-Madison students who say they have limited options. The only couple methods would be you pay, like, uh, an exorbitant amount of money to, to buy a plane ticket home, which is kind of like nearly impossible. Or you try and convince your parents to drive up and take you home and they don't want to do that. Uh, oh, so then you're pretty much the option you're left with is to get a medium expensive ticket on the coach bus. So according to court documents, COVID has a significant hand in the company's debt. Ridership dropping 90% between 2019 and 2020. Coach USA plans to sell assets to the Renko Group, which operates other travel companies nationwide in hopes of reducing debt and preserving jobs. How the changes will affect the day-to-day -day schedule. Super convenient. Every hour and almost throughout the whole day. Coach USA says is unconfirmed. The company says they'll be continuing operations as normal for as long as possible. Reporting in Madison, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. Maddie, thank you. Staying local, a restraining order has been granted against the Baraboo High School parent accused of pushing the district superintendent during a graduation ceremony. In court Friday morning, a Dane County judge granted Baraboo yeah, Superintendent Rainey Briggs' four-year request that Matthew Eddy must stay away from him, including no contact at all. If Eddy violates this order, he could be fined up to $10,000 or spend nine months in jail or both. Eddy is scheduled back in court on August 14th for the disorderly conduct incident. And to Dodge County now, where we have an update to a missing inmate. They are now back in custody. At about 5 p.m. Friday, James Griswold turned himself into the Dodge County Jail. At around midnight Friday morning, he left the jail to seek non-medical attention at Marshfield Medical Center in Beaver Dam, but never showed up. Griswold told, uh, rather has Huber privileges, which let him leave the jail for work and medical appointments. The Dodge County Sheriff's Office is investigating the circumstances of the incident. And now to continuing coverage from Columbia County, where the Merrimack Ferry is back open. After a car went into the water Thursday night, the ferry itself was not involved. Here's some video of that incident. It happened near the South Bank at around 11 p.m. According to the Columbia County Sheriff's Department, a 911 call came in 
reporting a vehicle crashing into the water. Two people got out and swam to shore. The passenger was injured in the crash and taken to a hospital. There is no word on the severity of the injuries or the passenger's condition at this time. Law enforcement later determined the driver was drunk before being taken to the Columbia County Jail. There is an extra law enforcement presence on the Madison Beltline Friday, but you probably couldn't see it. Wisconsin State Patrol took to the sky for aerial enforcement to make sure commuters are following the 55 mile per hour speed limit. A plane circling over the highway radioed down major speeding and other traffic violations. The troopers on the ground who then initiate a traffic stop. The enforcement actually went shorter than expected due to the pilot of the plane being diverted away. Still more than a dozen traffic stops were made with the fast violator going 79 miles per hour. We encourage folks to slow down because we understand that speed is a major um, issue when it comes to crashes and injuries and uh, fatalities. Uh, we want to minimize that um, and for us, in order for us to minimize that, we need help from the public. Wisconsin State Patrol says Friday's aerial enforcement was a result of lots of complaints and calls regarding the speeds of drivers on the Beltline. Well, the official start of summer is just a few, or uh, rather just a week away. And as temperatures rise, there are a couple things to keep in mind. Our Merrill Hubbard talked to medical professionals and construction workers to learn more about how they work to beat the heat. Summer is nearly here and it looks like it's only going to get hotter. So these are some good reminders for what comes with the summer sun. Hydration, hydration, hydration. I mean, you just got to drink. It's amazing how much water you lose in this type of heat. Dr. Harkin, urgent care physician at SSM Health, says to stay safe in the heat, people need to drink water, wear sunscreen, and cover up. By staying up for too long in the sun, people can start to have signs of heat exhaustion. This includes clammy hands, dizziness, and dry throat. For many people, the solution is to go indoors, but for people that work outside, this is not always an option. And we know it can be kind of a pain in the butt to have to drive around and take detours and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, we're trying to get it done as quickly as we can and just trying to stay safe. And As we get into the hot summer months, we can keep in mind to stay hydrated and cool to keep ourselves safe. I'm Merrill Hubbard, News 3 Now. Meryl, thank you. Now with the heat coming to Wisconsin, officials with the DOT are asking drivers to be cautious as it could create conditions for pavement buckling. They say pavement can expand and contract with extreme heat and can buckle and create bumps or dips. The DOT advising motorists to be alert and take extra caution, buckle up and pay attention on the road. Round two of voting for Madison Magazine's Best of Madison is now underway. Unlike the first round, you'll only be able to vote once per category, so carefully consider your pick before making it. You can pick from a wide variety of categories under food uh, and drink, arts and entertainment, health, lifestyle, and more. Voting runs through June 30th. Just head to channel3000.com and search for Madison Magazine. Now to look overseas this morning in a royal tradition unlike any other. It's the Trooping the Color, bringing massive crowds out to see the royal family in London. This morning we saw King Charles along with Queen Camilla. Princess Kate was also seen accompanying her three children. It was her first public appearance since she received a cancer diagnosis back in March. Her illness has coincided with that of King Charles, who has also been undergoing treatment for cancer. Today's spectacle is held annually to mark the monarch's official birthday. And staying overseas to Italy, where Pope Francis made history as the first pope to attend the prestigious G7 summit on Friday. The 87-year-old pontiff arrived at the summit for a day of high-profile meetings. It was throughout the day where he met with world leaders, including President Joe Biden, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Back here in the States on Wall Street, mixed numbers to close the week. The Dow Industrial Average down almost 58, the Nasdaq up 21, and the S&P 500 down two. Time now is 8.08, still ahead. A Madison man gets a chance to vote in this year's Tony Awards. And let's take a live look outside this morning. Jacob will have your full forecast as we welcome in the weekend. But first, when we come back, the George Vitans Golf Academy shows us some tips went out on the course. That's all ahead on Weekend Mornings. Jalen Banks, News 3 Now at 6 and 10, weekends moving forward. It's time for the Madison Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Don't miss your chance to tour 32 newly constructed homes filled with the newest trends and products. Go to MadisonParadeOfHomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Hi, Phil Swift here for FlexCall. 
our high performance hybrid caulk with our new trigger flow nozzle. Flex caulk is so easy to use. Just push the trigger and you get a perfect bead every time. And when you stop, it stops. There's absolutely no mess. You can adjust the flow from thick to thin. It also comes in clear. Perfect for kitchen countertops, sinks, and backsplashes. Ordinary caulks, they dry out, but flex caulk stays flexible. And with our snap and save cap, you can flex caulk again and again. There's no waste. Flex caulk has incredible adhesion. It even works underwater. It dries fast, is fully paintable, totally waterproof, and lasts for years. Forget those ordinary caulks and throw away that caulking gun. Get Flex Caulk, available at these fine retailers. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> Goomers! Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today. Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. Yeah. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Oak Park Dental for Best Dental Practice. Vote online for Oak Park Dental and all your favorites today. Senator Baldwin says, I'm not from Wisconsin. But this was my childhood home. Graduated East High. Became a Badger in 86, where I've had my company for over 20 years. And this is where we live. It's our family home. I'm a fourth generation Wisconsinite. It made me who I am. If Senator Baldwin's not gonna be honest with you about where I'm from, what makes you think she'll be honest with you about anything? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, if you're looking to better your golf game, the George Vitans Golf Academy is providing tips to help lower your score. Here this morning is Joel White showing us how to keep the path of the club in control. Today I'm talking about putting. Primarily club face control and path of the stroke. What I've done is set two clubs parallel to one another and I've created a fairly tight track here to emphasize a good path to the target, this cup. What I want to do here is make sure the three lines on my putter are all parallel to the two shafts. I've also taken advantage of the line on the golf ball and what I want to feel is a nice smooth stroke going back and through right at the cup, down the track. What I want to avoid is club face manipulation, a strange path going inside out, outside in, get that putter set up, feel that stroke go down the path. I'm Joel Weitz, PGA professional. Learn to play the fundamental way. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the three things you need to know for the weekend and next week. We could see a few showers later today and tonight with hot temperatures beginning tomorrow and continuing through Tuesday. Overall, it will remain warm all of next week with several chances of storms, but the alert day is only through Tuesday for the hot temperatures. And again, this is for all of southern Wisconsin. We certainly have seen worse, but this is really the first time that we're seeing these temperatures up in the 90s and heat index values could get close to 100. Not to mention tomorrow is Father's Day and I assume a lot of people probably have some plans for that. So let's take a look at the rainfall forecast first and then I'll show you the temperatures. As far as the rainfall goes, we'll see some scattered showers, especially north of Dane County. This does include all of you around La Crosse. But as we get to the evening, we'll take a little bit of a break from that. But after midnight, we'll see more consistent heavy rain move into the area and really impacting places north of Dane County, which does also include you folks around La Crosse. And this is really going to impact the central portion of the state very 
early for Father's Day. So a lot of locations in central Wisconsin will likely wake, wake up to rain, if not heavy rain. And there is a small severe weather chance, but that is pretty low. The heavy rain will be the biggest hazard with this. But the good news is that this is going to clear out very early uh, across our area, places north and east closer to Green Bay. Uh, it will last a little bit longer up there, but our entire area should be dry by the afternoon. But we're going to see a lot of sun and those temperatures are going to be warm. So let's take a look at the heat index values that we're expecting for Father's Day. We're talking about the heat index values in the middle 90s. A few locations off to the west near Iowa could actually see those heat index values get close to 100. So we're talking about uh, Pos uh, heat illnesses uh, uh, if you are spending time outside for over an hour. But Monday is going to be even worse where we can see those heat index values in the middle 90s. So it is advised to not spend hours at a time outside, take breaks, go inside, and also stay hydrated. Uh, dehydration is, are, is one of the most uh, common ways to get heat illness and heat stroke. So just make sure you are staying hydrated. And as I mentioned, take breaks from the heat. Now Tuesday is also going to be hot with highs near 90. It's going to get a little bit better for the middle and end of next week, but we're still talking about high temperatures in the middle 80s. And as far as rain chances go, we're going to see quite a bit of it. Now, there's not a specific day where we're very likely going to see rainfall, but it looks like the best chances will be Tuesday night into Wednesday and then again Thursday night into Friday. But pretty much each and every day, there is a good chance of rain. Now for Father's Day, it will clear out early. So the rest of the day will be dry. Monday is looking mostly dry, just a stray shower or storm with better chances of showers and storms a little bit later into the week. And like I mentioned, Wednesday and then again Friday look to be the two best chances for showers and storms next week. But our biggest focus right now is on that heat. Again, if you have any outdoor plans, I assume a lot of you probably do for Father's Day, drink plenty of water and take breaks from the heat. Uh, really, this is the first time we're, we're talking about these heat index values uh, in the middle 90s and a few locations could even see them get close to 100. All right, Jacob, thank you for that. Gas prices are cheaper than last summer and miles away from where they peaked two years ago. That's a grind to AAA who says the national average for regular gas stood at 346 a gallon this past Thursday. That is down a dollar and 56 cents from the national record of 5.02 set in June of 2022. It's also down 13 cents from this point last year. With food insecurity being an ongoing problem in schools, some Wisconsin students are growing their own food, plucking it off the vine and putting it right onto their plates, and they have an opera singer to thank in part. It was about a decade ago when Alex Tank well, kind of uh, stumbled onto an urban farm using hydroponic gardens, giving him an idea on putting health food on students' plates. All the technology at the time and throughout the industry in many ways to this day is a really high energy cost to produce food. And I thought, man, that is the missing opportunity. Like if we can crack that nut and figure out how to make this affordable enough and easy enough, you could start getting kids to grow their own food and then to see it appear on the lunch line. The USDA says nearly one out of every eight households faces food insecurity. He says hydroponic units can help get people fresh food much faster. And to a consumer alert, if you plan to be outside this weekend, a warning uh, from the FDA. Skincare company Suntegrity is recalling some of its sunscreen foundation due to possible mold contamination. The FDA says some of the impeccable skin sunscreen foundation are being pulled from shelves. No adverse reactions have been reported, but consumers are advised to stop using the product and request a refund. Products containing mold can cause an allergic skin reaction or infection and give off a strong odor. Suntegrity says reactions typically clear up after cleansing the skin and discontinuing use. And the CDC is warning of possible disruptions to getting ADHD medications. The announcement comes after the arrest of two executives of a telehealth company that distributes such drugs. The indictment claims two executives of Dunn Global generated more than $100 million in revenue by arranging for the prescriptions of more than 40 million pills. The executives instructed prescribers to prescribe stimulants to patients even if they didn't qualify. The agency says the arrest marked the Justice Department's first criminal drug distribution prosecutions related to prescribing via telemedicine through a digital health company. Well, happening tomorrow, the Tony Awards will recognize the greatest accomplishments of the year on the stage. And here in Madison, one man is getting the chance to cast his vote. Tim Sowers, the Chief Artistic Experiences Officer at the Overture Center, is a member of the Broadway League. He's also one of the voters who gets to choose the winners. The process is, is 
when a show opens, we get an invite to go see the show. Uh, in order to vote in the categories, you have to see all of the nominees in all of the categories to vote. And if you, you haven't, then you just abstain. Now the Tony Awards airs tomorrow night here and CBS. It'll be at 7 p.m. and we are certainly looking forward to it. And some other good news, a Sun Prairie man is using his family's journey to spread a positive message even through some of the worst struggles. Uh, Joel Coyne is using this storyline to do something good. Joel and his wife, Trisha, struggled for years to start a family and it was during those sleepless nights the local teacher and coach turned to writing and little did he know at the time the beautiful things that would come in the home that love built. When we knew that our family would uh, kind of take a little bit of a different journey, we came up with the mantra that family is love. News 3 Now is Josh Breider sat down with Coin in a story you'll only see here on WIC TV News 3 Now and that'll be Sunday night at 10 following the Tony Awards. Still ahead here on Weekend Mornings, Jacob will be back with a quick check at today's forecast. Plus, there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Loper shares his picks and three things to watch when we return. Why Vitruvian Farms? Organic vegetables and mushrooms, and they're fresh, really fresh. We'll deliver to you or shop right on the farm. Vitruvian Farms, just outside Madison. I was stuck. Unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more from my antidepressant. Vraylar helped give it a lift. Adding Vraylar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. And in Vraylar clinical studies, most saw no substantial impact on weight. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke, report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I didn't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Raylar and learn how AbbVie can help you save. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Graham's Auto and Truck Clinic for Best Non-Dealer Auto Service Shop. Vote for Graham's Auto and Truck Clinic on madisonmagazine.com. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including the Dell Bar for Best Restaurant and four other exciting categories in food and drink. Vote for the Dell Bar on madisonmagazine.com. If you're searching for the coziness of home within an assisted living community, rather than a sprawling campus, Home Again awaits you. Locally owned and operated, offering three convenient locations to serve you better. Home Again, living assisted. When a crane collapsed during construction of a major league sports stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish, and Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Ah, uh, taking the time to savor Thomas's crunchy yet soft bagels. Thanks, Tom. It's, uh, Tom, actually. Right, Tom. 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 You doing that on purpose? Tom. Tom. How have we got to town? Huzzah! A toast to breakfast! Introducing Badgerscape Design and Landscape, your trusted full-service landscape company in the greater Madison area. We offer expert design, installation, and maintenance services. Visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com to schedule a consultation today. Let's take a look at today and tomorrow's forecast once again. Here is a look at today's. We're going to see cloudy skies with highs in the upper 70s, maybe lower 80s further south. The further north and west you go, the better chance you'll see rainfall, which also means the cooler the temperatures will be. So across, we'll only see highs in the lower 70s, maybe even upper 60s for a few locations on the Mississippi River. But then as we get into the day tomorrow, we're going to have high temperatures in the middle to upper 80s, possibly 90s for a few locations. Looks like the best chance of 90s will be just to the south of Dane County. But heat index 
values will be in the, the middle 90s, especially when the sun is shining. So as we've been talking about, you know, try to limit outdoor activity and drink plenty of water if you are going to be outside. And there's really no end in sight to the warm temperatures. Now we're not going to see every single day in the 10 day forecast in the 90s, but it does look like we're going to be at least in the 80s and going forward, we're going to see warmer than average temperatures to end June as well, especially for the entire eastern half of the United States. Jacob, thank you. There is no shortage of films and shows streaming right now. Our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. You could sell six, seven hundred million CDs a year. You had your fly Walmart CD holder on your visor. Newly streaming on Paramount Plus is the docu-series How Music Got Free. The music industry had always been really concerned about piracy. Once file sharing technology came along, they understood, though, that everything that had come before was nothing. The two-part series takes a look at how Napster and piracy affected the music industry. As soon as the artist turned in the record, you could set a stopwatch for how soon it was going to leak. How Music Got Free is streaming on Paramount Plus now. Dad, did you ever worry that your power wasn't enough? Every single day. Newly streaming on Netflix is the film Ultraman Rising. It's actually kind of cool fighting monsters. It's just, uh, I'm, I'm not very good at it. A hero who grows gigantic and fights monsters faces his greatest challenge yet, taking care of a 35-foot-tall baby kaiju. It's okay. No, no. She has acid reflux. Ultraman Rising is streaming on Netflix now. The ultimate babysitter. So, Riley, how was the first day of school? Fine, I guess. Did you guys pick up on that? She mm -hmm. did. And Something's get ready for Inside Out 2, new in theaters this weekend, by streaming the first Inside Out from 2015 on Disney+. Plus. These are Riley's memories. They're mostly happy, you'll notice, not to brag. I wanted to maybe hold one. What happened? Sadness. She did something to the memory. Is everything okay? I don't know. Watch a young girl learn to deal with her emotions, which include joy, sadness, and anger in the Pixar film that packs an emotional punch. What do we do now? Nothing's working. Why isn't it working? We have a major problem. Oh, I wish joy was here. Inside Out is streaming on Disney Plus now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. And coming up next, a look at our top morning headlines. Stick with us. This is Weekend Mornings. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. It's time for the Madison Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Don't miss your chance to tour 32 newly constructed homes filled with the newest trends and products. Go to MadisonParadeOfHomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Roth Cheese for Best Cheese Producer. Vote for Roth Cheese and all your favorites on MadisonMagazine.com. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Don's Home Furniture for Best Furniture, Best Interior Design, and Best Outdoor Living and Services. Vote for Don's Home Furniture today. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Elite Cognition for Best Mental Health Facility. Vote for Elite Cognition and all your favorites online today. The biggest steak sale ever is this Thursday through Sunday at Hy-Vee.
Save big on delicious New York strips, bacon wrapped sirloin fillets, and mouth watering ribeyes. This sale is huge, and so is our dad sized 25 ounce big T T bone. For the best steaks around at the best prices around. Don't miss the biggest steak sale ever, Thursday through Sunday, only at Hy-Vee. So if we spend a third of our lives sleeping, shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the four-day super sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Check out the Summit for only $299.99. Or save $100 on any Doctor's Choice original. Or get five years no interest, no down payment, plus free shipping. Improve your sleep life one night at a time. Only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Above Average Moving for Best Moving Company. Vote for Above Average Moving and all your favorites online today. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. It's 8.30 right now. A man is arrested in connection with a shooting on Madison's east side that left two people hurt. Plus, the 2024 campaign is back in full swing this weekend. CBS's Wendy Gillette shares what the two leading candidates are doing as immigration once again becomes a top issue. And we have an alert day in the forecast for the hot temperatures next week. All the full details coming up. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings this last half hour this morning. Let's begin by sending it over to Jacob Manasson for a look at your Saturday forecast. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Kyle. And today is going to be really the last day we're going to see highs in the 70s for quite a while afterwards. Now, here's a look at the forecast for Madison. We are going to see plenty of cloud cover. Temperatures may feel just a little bit cooler, though, with all the cloud cover. However, there is expecting there is expecting some rain later today. Right now, all those showers moving into Wisconsin are kind of dissipating, but also very light. Just a few sprinkles near the Mississippi River, but more consistent showers are going to move into parts of our area during the afternoon. Now, this does include you folks near La Crosse and pretty much everywhere north of Dane County could definitely see some rain at some point today, but places south, especially near the Illinois border, could very easily miss out on the rain altogether today. Now, as we get into the overnight hours, we're going to see more consistent and also a lot heavier rain move through the area. And once again, the heaviest will be to the north of Dane County. Places near the Illinois border, especially south and east of Dane County, may miss out on the rain altogether, but north, that's a completely different story as heavy rain is expected to move through the area early tomorrow morning. But the good news is that this is going to clear out very quickly in the morning. Places northeast towards Green Bay will see the rain last a bit longer. But other than that, we're not going to see any other rainfall for the rest of Father's Day. But we are going to see those hot temperatures. And I'll talk more in detail about how hot they could get coming up a bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. Our top stories this morning, Madison police have made an arrest in connection to a shooting on the city's east side last Sunday, which left two people hurt. Online records show 44 year old Marcus Deloney was arrested on a probation hold Friday night. That shooting near Trafalgar Place in Andrew Way sent two people to the hospital. One, uh, one was treated and released, but another was in critical condition as of the last check. Police earlier identified another man, Jerome Jacobs, as a person of interest in the shooting, and he was last spotted Monday in Eau Claire fleeing from police. Madison Police's Violent Crimes Unit continues to investigate at this time. Also this morning, police in Janesville have arrested a teenager who they say shot a girl yesterday. Fortunately, the girl has been treated and released from the hospital. The shooting happened around 1030 Friday morning on West Holmes Street, which is about a block west of the Rock River. It led to the lockdown of, a, of nearby daycare centers. Officers found the suspect, a 17-year-old boy, and arrested him. Meanwhile, some clarity is being made in Columbia County where authorities say a drunk driver drove off the pier at the Merrimack Ferry landing in Lake Wisconsin. This video shows the emergency response from a nearby traffic camera. Two people in the vehicle were able to get out and swim to shore. The passenger ended up being taken to the hospital, but the severity of their injuries is unclear. The driver was arrested and taken to the Columbia County Jail. Campaign 2024 is back in full swing this weekend. Both President Biden and former President Donald Trump have scheduled events 
as immigration once again becomes a central issue. CBS's Wendy Gillette reports on what's next for the candidates. Happy birthday! Day. Former President Donald Trump celebrated his 78th birthday at a campaign rally in West Palm Beach, Florida. There's nowhere else I'd rather be on my birthday. It's flag day, my birthday. He touched on the economy, inflation, and immigration before thousands of enthusiastic supporters. On day one of our new administration, we will seal the border, stop the invasion, and send Joe Biden's illegal aliens back home where they belong. We have to get them out. President Biden wrapped up his trip to Italy for the G7 summit. CBS News has learned he's preparing to offer legal status to undocumented immigrants who are married to American citizens and have lived in the U.S. for 10 years. The proposal is known as parole in place. The first lady hit the campaign trail last night. She told a crowd in Reno, Nevada, her husband is an effective president and should be reelected. This election is about the character of the person leading our country. President Biden is scheduled to hold a fundraiser tonight in Los Angeles with former President Barack Obama and actors George Clooney and Julia Roberts. Trump will spend part of his Saturday taking part in a community roundtable, then speaking at a convention in Detroit. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. And CBS News has also learned President Biden's immigration program would make it easier for so-called dreamers to get temporary visas. In some other national news, the Supreme Court has struck down a federal ban on bump stocks approved by former President Donald Trump. His administration had pushed for the ban in response to the 2017 mass shooting that killed 58 people at an outdoor festival in Las Vegas. Bump stocks convert a semi-automatic rifle into a weapon that can fire at a rate of hundreds of rounds a minute. The ban was challenged by a Texas gun store owner who turned his bump stocks over to the government after the ban was implemented. He then sued. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote the majority opinion for the 6-3 court ruling. He said a bump stock is not more effective in firing quicker rounds than a shooter, quote, with a lightning fast trigger finger. Demolition began Friday on the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School building in Parkland, Florida, where 70 people, 17 people died in a 2018 mass shooting on Valentine's Day. A large excavator started the process on top of the three-story classroom building after a one-day postponement because of bad weather. The building is where a former student opened fire, killing 17 students and educators and injuring more than a dozen others. It had been pre preserved as evidence for the trial. On Friday, several victims' families expressing mixed feelings about the demolition. My wife said she had kind of grown attached to the space as we walked through it so many times with uh, different leaders and policymakers. Um, as for me, I'm concerned because we haven't seen a solid plan yet for what's going to replace this building. Uh, Friday also saw several people watching the demolition in lawn chairs. It will take several weeks before work is complete, but school officials say it should be done before students return from summer vacation. And the Justice Department says it will not prosecute Attorney General Merrick Garland after House Republicans voted to hold him in contempt of Congress earlier this week. GOP House members held Garland in contempt for not turning over audio recordings of President Joe Biden's interviews with former special counsel Robert Herr. At the time, Herr was investigating Biden's handling of classified material, but declined to bring charges. The president asserted executive privilege over the files. In a letter to House Speaker Mike Johnson, the DOJ cited its long-standing position of declining to prosecute in cases of executive privilege, including that Garland's actions did not con constitute a crime. Now to a look overseas this morning and a royal tradition that is unlike any other. Uh, of course, we're talking about the trooping, the color, bringing out some massive crowds to see the royal family in London this morning. It's certainly a spectacle out there. This morning we saw King Charles along with Queen Camilla Princess Kate was also seen accompanying her three children. It was her first public appearance since she received a cancer diagnosis back in March. Her, her illness has coincided with that of King Charles, who has also been undergoing treatment for cancer. Still ahead, Jake will be back with a quick check at today's forecast, plus a look at what's happening in the 608 this weekend. We'll be back in a moment. I've been with U.S. Cellular for 27 years. When they asked me to talk to you about their special customer event, Us Days, I said, I kind of get in shape. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Us Days is back at U.S. Cellular. 
introducing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Woodworks, Furniture and Design, Best Furniture. Vote for Woodworks, Furniture and Design on madisonmagazine.com. Hansons knows that your home is a place of comfort and protection. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are guaranteed. With over 30 years' experience and thousands of five star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Get 50% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for one year. Call 1 800 Hansons. Get it done. Treatment for your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, can be overwhelming. So ask your doctor about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start. It's the number one prescribed branded chronic migraine treatment. So far, more than 5 million Botox treatments have been given to over 850,000 chronic migraine patients. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away, as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they'd talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. I devise a plan to find better home internet, guys. Madison, you scout the web for the best deals. And Ellen... Avoid that hassle and go with U.S. Cellular home internet. No more guesswork, and it is faster than ever. U.S. Cellular new and improved home internet. Just $34.99 when bundled with a wireless plan. Sunday after the Tony Awards for a couple struggling to start a family. There were a lot of hard nights. There were a lot of tears. But the path they traveled became part of their story of hope. I could see myself reading a story just like this to my child. I'll show you how a Sun Prairie man's late night vision inspired his next chapter to do something good. Our family is special and precious to us. In this book, allows us to help tell that story. Sunday on New Street Now at 10. Here's a look at the high temperatures over the next 10 days once again. For tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, we are likely going to see those high temperatures in the lower 90s with heat index values in the middle 90s, if not close to 100 on Monday. Even towards the middle and end of next week, we're going to be pretty warm. Now, here are a few tips to uh, stay safe during the heat. This first one is the most important. Stay hydrated and take breaks from outside. Try to limit any uh, you know, excessive physical activity outside as well. It's also important to wear, you know, light colored clothes and also light clothes. And it's also important to check on elderly and pets, and pets especially because the pets are just going to want to enjoy themselves outside, but uh, they can also uh, get uh, heat exhaustion as well. So it's just important to take a few safety tips when temperatures get this warm. Now, the good news is that we aren't going to see anything extremely excessive to where we have those heat index values uh, well above 100. Now, as far as rainfall goes, we are going to see plenty of that as well over the next seven days. So each individual day, when a st if a storm passes through, temperatures will likely cool down a little bit following the storm. But as a whole, the rain is not going to impact the temperatures too much. I'll have a full detailed forecast those still to come. Jacob, thank you. Not only a busy June here in the 608, we got events happening all over this Father's Day weekend. Our first of three events we're highlighting this morning is brand new to the Madison area. The Madison Nightmares will host the lacrosse team for its home opener tomorrow. First pitch is at 605 at the Duck Pond. We had an opportunity to meet with the team mascot midnight on Wednesday. <laughs> Super cool to see that. Uh, this groundbreaking league is the first ever to showcase the best female collegiate softball players from across the country. And we're told families can expect an atmosphere similar to a Mallards game. The team will play a total of 21 home games with each game lasting about seven innings. Happening today, you can support clean, healthy lakes with Loop the Lake. This is the 12th annual benefit bike ride put on by the Clean Lakes Alliance. Uh, it is a, an all at your own pace bike ride around Lake Monona to raise money and awareness benefiting the greater Madison Lakes. 
Cyclists of all ages and abilities can take to the scenic 13.8 mile loop around Lake Monona, starting at and ending at Ulbrick Park. The course is open from 9 until 2 p.m. Also happening this Father's Day weekend, Bessie's Diner in Janesville is hosting its fly-in or drive-in pancake breakfast. Uh, the sixth annual event is taking place both today and tomorrow from 7 a.m. until 2 p.m. And Bessie's Diner is located at the Southern Wisconsin Regional Airport. It's a great event for the whole family with an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast plus the chance to get up close and personal with new and vintage planes. Super cool stuff happening around here. We'll still ahead, Andrew will check in with Friday's news and sports, and let's take a live look outside. Jacob will have his full forecast next on weekend mornings. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Beef Butter Barbecue for Best Barbecue, your number one choice for barbecue and catering. Vote online for Beef Butter Barbecue today. It's time for the Madison Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Don't miss your chance to tour 32 newly constructed homes filled with the newest trends and products. Go to MadisonParadeOfHomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Introducing Badgerscape Design and Landscape, your trusted full-service landscape company in the greater Madison area. We offer expert design, installation, and maintenance services. Visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com to schedule a consultation today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Best Western Premier Park Hotel for Best Hotel. Vote for Best Western Premier Park Hotel today. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically, paint. I love the co-op because of the good food and it supports the community. I love the fresh produce, coffee at the juice bar for while I'm shopping, and the large selection of bulk products. I think the prices are great. I love the co-op because they make healthy food affordable for people. I love the people who work here and the people who shop here. The vibe is great and they have fun cooking classes for kids. I love the co-op. I come here almost every day. It's kind of my mini vacation going there. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. Imprint for certain. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's one final look at the three things you need to know for this weekend and next week. We are going to see a few showers and maybe even some storms later today and tonight, but hot temperatures are expected for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And overall, we're going to see quite a few uh, thunderstorm activities during uh, throughout next week. Excuse me. Now, looking at the alert day information, we are going to see the hot temperatures uh, mainly for southern Wisconsin, the central and northern portion of the state. Not quite as hot, but still fairly warm, still above average for this time of the year. And again, this is Sunday through Tuesday, but we're still going to be warm for the middle and end of next week. Now, first, let me talk you through the rainfall forecast. We are going to see a few scattered showers move into the northern portion of our area, which and also all of La Crosse's region during the afternoon hours. But the 
the rain will mostly be light to moderate today. And again, this is mostly north of Dane County and places south will likely not see any rainfall at all today. But as we head to the overnight hours, we're going to see more consistent and more heavy rain move into Wisconsin. There is a small severe weather risk with this line of showers and storms, but the bigger risk will be the heavy rain. Now, the heaviest rain will also be north of Dane County, similar to the showers today. And once again, places near the Illinois border may miss out on the rain completely both later today and tomorrow. But north of Dane County, very heavy rain is expected uh, for a brief period of time. Look, good news is that it's going to clear out fairly early for Father's Day, but places further north and east up north towards Green Bay will see it last a bit longer. But by the afternoon, we are going to be dry, but we're also going to be very sunny, which will allow the heat index values to possibly get up to 95, if not 100 degrees. So for Sunday, we're talking about heat index values well into the 90s, but it's going to be even warmer for Monday. So a few locations could actually see the heat index values get close to 100. Again, we advise everyone to limit outdoor activities and to drink plenty of water. The good thing is that this isn't extreme heat. Again, the extreme heat we, we usually consider when heat index values are above 105. We're not going to get to that level, but we're certainly going to get to level where it can get a, uh, a little dangerous for those that spend excessive time outside. So again, Take breaks from outside, uh, take breaks from the heat and drink plenty of water. Those are the two best ways to stay safe during the heat. Now, overall, we are going to see several chances of thunderstorms, but it is likely that all the days you're seeing in the 10 day forecast will have dry periods within the day, but we are looking fairly active for next week with the chance of storms pretty much every day. As I mentioned now, temperatures won't be quite as warm after Tuesday, but still going to see highs in the middle 80s, which is a little bit above average for this time of the year. We still are seeing an average high of around 80. By the time we get to July, the average high will be in the middle 80s, but for now still seeing above average temperatures with the middle 80s. And again, we'll have a little bit more clarity as to which days we'll see the most rain next week. Right now it looks like Wednesday and Friday will be those days. The State Girls Soccer Tournament is basically Oregon's home away from home. This year is their ninth straight trip, and the Panthers have some unfinished business to attend to after finishing runner-up last season. Standing in their way for a return trip to the finals, River Falls, and the Panthers struck first. Reese Richardson with a beautiful cross to Maya Maloney, and she rips one into the back of the net. The freshman-to-freshman connection makes it 1-0 Oregon, 18 minutes in. Same score late in the second half and there is no stopping this. Caitlin Studebaker goes corner pocket with a right footed dart and the Panthers head back to the state final with a 3-0 win. They'll face Whitefish Bay again in the D2 championship game. As for Division One, Wana Key back at state for the first time since 2022, taking on Kimberly in the semifinals. The Warriors, though, they fell up short yesterday, falling 1-0 the final. Jordan Love jumped onto the scene in his first year as a starter and is poised to be the Packers quarterback for a long time to come with a contract extension coming sometime in the next couple of weeks. But Love, he's not worried about that. Instead, he's focused on not having a sophomore slump as a starter. To do that, the QB1 has been looking inward as he continues to put in the work to perfect his craft. Never having that mindset of being complacent or thinking you made it. Uh, I'm always trying to ha have a positive mindset and trying to work to get better and, you know, find little tweaks in your game that you can improve on. At the same time, always having that confidence. And, and uh, whether it's a good play or a bad play, never letting that confidence waver. You know, just staying confident in yourself and true to yourself. And meanwhile, in Madison on the gridiron, Luke Fickle and company stayed hot on the recruiting trail as four-star wide receiver Eugene Hilton Jr. committed to Wisconsin yesterday. The four-star receiver is the son of Indianapolis Colts great T.Y. Hilton and shows UW over Georgia, Michigan, and many other Power 5 schools. Brewers opening a three-game set with Cincy, making a furious comeback in the ninth. Bases juiced for Jackson Shurio, and the Rook rips a single to right. One run scores, and the tying run does two, or at least that was the initial call. After another look, Jake Bowers was out at home, but still another crack at it for the crew. Six to five the score. Blake Perkins of the dish, two on and two out, and yeah, you saw that right. He bunted. That certainly did not work as planned. He pops out to the pitcher. Bull move to try to squeeze in that spot, and that's the ball game. Crew lose 6-5. to five. And that is your morning sports fix. Have a satisfying Saturday.
Thanks, Andrew. And coming up next, it's the March of the Penguins. We'll share their journey rehab rehabbing some serious illnesses. That's next. Belly's Flowers annuals on sale now through June. Buy two annuals, get one free. Vegetables, planters, hanging baskets, and more. Buy two annuals, get one free at the award-winning Belly's Flowers with four Madison area locations. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Top Notch Movers for Best Moving Company. Vote for Top Notch Movers and all your favorites online today. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. So if we spend a third of our lives sleeping, shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the four-day super sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out the Summit for only $299.99. Or save $100 on any Doctor's Choice original. Or get five years no interest, no down payment, plus free shipping. Improve your sleep life one night at a time. Only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. Trust your home with RG Heating and AC. Experience the Channel 3000 News app today. Enjoy a website-like layout and swipe through articles without returning to the home screen. Download the Channel 3000 News app, powered by News 3 Now. Belly's Flowers annuals on sale now through June. Buy two annuals, get one free. Vegetables, planters, hanging baskets, and more. Buy two annuals, get one free at the award-winning Belly's Flowers with four Madison area locations. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9. Finally this morning, it's the March of the Penguins. 14 penguins found in poor condition off the Argentine coast in recent months have returned to the wild one little hop at a time after a successful rehabilitation. These animals were nursed back to health after showing signs of dehydration, malnourishment, and anemia. An <laughs> uh, the center that rehabbed them said that's due to struggles of finding uh, finding uh, feed on their migratory journey. So here's to hoping they're having no trouble uh, finding some snacks on the sea to munch on, Jacob. Super cool to see them <laughs> thriving down there. Yeah, who doesn't love penguins? Honestly, they're one of my favorite animals. I love that, them. That, that's not a lie. Love I seeing them at, at the zoo. That's about the closest I'll ever get to seeing them anywhere. Yeah, there's this, uh, the zoo that I went to as a kid uh, down in Chicago. They had a whole penguin exhibit. Loved yeah. it. Anyway, here's a look at the 10-day forecast. We do have several chances of thunderstorms, but the bigger story for now is the heat that we're going to see Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Highs will be near 90. Heat index values in the middle to upper 90s, possibly close to 100. So again, try to limit outdoor activities. And if you are outside, drink plenty of water. As far as the storms go, we could see some showers later today, but a better chance of rain will come late tonight. But that will clear out very early for Father's Day. And then for next week, Wednesday and Friday, look like the best days to see the rain. Certainly not good weather for the penguins, but <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching. We're back here tomorrow morning at 630. See you then.